Besides good acting skills, chemistry between the lead couple is a very important thing in every drama. A pair of actors can be shoved into the perfect romantic circumstances, but if they don't have a palpable romantic connection, then their on-screen romance can quickly become a flop. In today's video, we will be talking about five such K-drama couples who have the worst chemistry. Starting with the couple Red Velvet Joy and Wu Do Hwan in Tempted, also known as The Great Seducer. Tempted is about a dangerous game of seduction where rich kid Guan Si Hyun places a bet with his longtime friends Su Ji and Seju to seduce Yoon Ta Hee. Guan Si Hyun has no problem with seducing women as he believes that people are easily swayed by love. But when he meets Yoon Ta Hee, he secretly starts to fall in love with her without his friends knowing. However, Tae and Si Yeon's relationship appears to be a lot more complicated when their parents are acquainted and have a long history behind them. The romance of Tempted never entirely lived up the expectations that many other viewers had. The romance was a cringe fest and the script writing was terrible. Korean dramas usually make me swoon for the male leads and root for the main couple. But with Tempted, one couldn't help but laugh at some of the lines that Tae and Si Hyun were saying. Viewers were also not entirely convinced with the chemistry between Tae and Si Hyun. There were no sparks and things didn't feel natural compared to Suji and Seju's scenes. The romance was a letdown, especially when the description and posters showed so much promise. Up next, we have Go Ara and Park So Joon in Hwarang. The 2016 historical K-drama Hwarang explores a kingdom where elite warriors are formed to strengthen the monarchy. Two of these warriors develop close relationships with Aro, a girl from a low class, but Moom Young becomes her romantic lead. Unfortunately, the chemistry between the actors Park So Joon and Goara falls flat, leading to an unconvincing romance. Aro's character arc is weakened as she is portrayed more as a damsel in distress rather than a strong, independent figure. Her previous brotherly connection with Moom Young further complicates their romantic storyline, making it feel forced and awkward. Goara's performance was often criticized for being overacted and lacking natural chemistry with her co-stars. Her facial expressions and mannerisms were found unpleasant by some viewers, and her character's frequent crying became tiresome. The romantic dynamic, especially with Aero calling Moom Young brother, while developing romantic feelings, felt unsettling and uncomfortable. Next on the list are Im Soo Young and Cha Yoo Nu in Gangnam Beauty. Sometimes a K-drama couple's lack of chemistry is clear just from the look on the actor's face. Gangnam Beauty is a 2018 series following Mirai, a young woman who decides to get plastic surgery after being bullied about her appearance in her youth. However, her makeover comes with consequences, and Mirai's self-esteem isn't fully recovered. In the meantime, she reconnects with her classmate, Gyeong Sog, who is cold but protects her from her bullies. While this may seem like a recipe for romance, unfortunately, Gyeongsog's coldness makes a romantic connection hard to decipher. And furthermore, the trope of him being her savior becomes repetitive, making their relationship stagnant rather than soaring. Perhaps the main reason why this couple has such a bad interaction is due to the personalities of the two characters. Both of these characters are people who are less emotional and always appear cool throughout the drama. My ID is Gangnam Beauty really lacked in humor, acting, and chemistry, playing the same type of character, but Cha Eunu in True Beauty had much better chemistry with Moon Ga Young. Another couple on the list is Kim Da Mi and Park So Joon in Itaewon Class. Itaewon Class was a major hit in Korea as well as globally since it topped the Netflix charts. Not your usual rom-com drama, it's mainly about revenge and also taught us that perseverance and determination can lead us to success or achieve our goals. Park So Joon as Park Seoroi. He's been doing dramas every year, and many of them are successful thanks to his chemistry with his leading ladies. This time, he hardly carried the show as he didn't have chemistry with the co-lead Kim Dami. Also, Dami likes Sojun and uses her skills and career to bait him, and if he doesn't accept her feelings, she'll quit being a manager. I don't think that's love, but pressuring and forcing a person to love you. 
I wished the writer didn't push the romance of Dami and Sojun. I would much prefer him to be single and focus on his career since all his life he dedicated it to improving himself and achieving his dreams. The kidnapping plot also is kind of overused, but it was necessary to let him realize Dami's importance to him. In this case, the audience thinks that Park Sojun has great chemistry with Guanara, while he and Kim Da Mi don't look like a couple at all. However, it is understandable since most of the time in the 16 episodes, Park So Joon has a crush on Guanara while he and Da Mi have very little time as a couple. Finally, we have Im Yuna and Ji Changug in the K2. While the K2 offered a compelling narrative with complex characters and thrilling action sequences, the romantic subplot between Jaeha and Anna fell short of expectations. K2 follows Jaeha, a mercenary soldier who, after being framed for murder, is given the opportunity to be a bodyguard for a presidential candidate's daughter, Anna. Once again, Jaeha is put in the position of being Anna's savior, which ultimately is part of the couple's downfall. My point here is that, while it would make perfect sense for the sheltered Anna to fall in love with the first strong person she has seen around her who cares for her without wanting anything in return, the drama never gives us a real reason why the jaded Jaha would return those feelings. If the reason for his love was Anna's innocence and purity, she loses much of that by the show's second half, as Anna conspires to win against her stepmother. While chemistry is subjective, in this case, the pairing failed to ignite the screen with the passion and connection typically associated with romantic leads. Along with relying too heavily on the damsel in distress trope, the K-drama had a second lead that was much more interesting, Anna's mother Yujin. The scene where Jaeha saves her from a car crash and the umbrella scene, their chemistry completely overshadows his romance with Anna. So, what other K-dramas leads do you think have little to no chemistry? Let us know in the comments section below, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share with your friends.